till today morning uh, how did it have been unwell guruji so we really haven't had much we haven't done the 
full 15 sittings uh, in okay. all honesty but we've done as much as we could yes yes that's what is needed because the spirit should should not lag behind yeah you should not uh, lag in spirit okay that's the main thing because always we are after the spirit we are awareness embodiment which is formless nameless even the cosmos doesn't exist there but we exist that is the beauty of that sixth sense intellectual human being we will we will straight we will straight away go to the subject hmm? This is the slide number one, basic slide. Everything of the cosmos, especially intelligent, sentient beings, beings that, that have lives throb in them, they are consisting of these five koshas. Why at all life should originate? Why at all the cosmos itself should exist? Do you have any answers for this? Do scientists have any answers for this? Why at all the cosmos exists? What is this existence called cosmos? They already started plunging into researching that is there, already available, but they have not asked the very foundational question why at all? It sprang up. Why at all? There is the vast space. Isn't it? But only while turning within us, we are we are getting lots and lots of revelations. These things are revealed. They are not taught. These are all not read. Layer by layer, just like an onion, peeling of the onion, layer, layer after layer. Essentially, the existence is made up of inertia. That inertia is created. What is inertia? Not letting the intelligence to grow. Not letting the intelligence, stagnated intelligence. Even a sand particle is a stagnated intelligence. Why do we see intelligence even for a sun particle? Because atoms are revolving in it. Atoms have constituents in it. They are whirling within. Forces are there. Many more particles are there. So the whole cosmos, even in empty space is permeated by Photon particles, many, many particles, many forces, invisible force is the gravity. These things are revealed to one because foundation has to be set in, laid in one. That's why undoubtedly we pursue what is to be pursued, what is to be seen constantly throughout 24 into 7 by a human being that you should know categorically in a clear manner, clarity. So every living thing is pulsating out of these five sheets, like coverings, five sheets. Essentially, the foundational uh, sheet is called the causal body. It is the Ananda Maya Kosha. This is called, the number one is called as the Ananda Maya Kosha. 
but it is not cognized or the pleasure is not undergone by an individual or even a thought or even a feeling doesn't exist while we are asleep but innately the non existent subtle body that is a state of our deep sleep even that state itself is immersed in bliss bliss that's why the highest bliss for a human being is sleep actually death is also a grand rest given to the soul given to the jiva grand rest they are not two different things at all in our waking state whenever you have large gaps without thoughts interfering those gaps those gaps are all a non existent state but which are not known revealed to that individual because there is no atma gnana or self realization enlightenment understanding or wisdom exists here that is why that uh, gap is there it is not shown to anyone even during our waking state without a thought if you exist without a motivating feeling sentiment emotion if you exist what is that kind of existence you are not identified with a thought in the form of a sound a name sentences nothing about the world at that at that moment you don't feel your existence of your body nothing 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 but there is within you the mind but it doesn't work at that moment what is that kind of state um it's a state of being just we just be it is a state of being just we but with a clear cut upadesha from the realized person if you turn within and be like that then there is a clarity that envelops you within concretely you come to realize yes i was not with thought i was not with a feeling i was not there have been moments that i was not Mm. these are all essential points for realization because always we tend to move with thoughts what is our existence even physical moments they are all always corresponding to the psychological motivations psychologically one is pushed yes you go and take that uh, thing you drive the car you better you see your friend uh, spend your time some or the other suggestions are popping up from within so always one is lost in the maneuverings of the subtle body then these are the subtle body 2 3 4 2 is the intellect intellect is actually the innermost cabin of the individual his identifications with his gender with his country with his family with his body with his understanding with his confusions with his frustrations what not he is immersed he is a movement going along in that ocean of past registrations intellect intellect carries past if you search for this intellect within your physical body say in the brain it cannot be found you cannot find a place a exact seat seating arrangement of the intellect in our brain we cannot find the seating arrangement made for our mind itself where thoughts come and go so you are lost again your internet is gone so this is with regard to our mind which is full of thoughts and the fourth is these two 
the intellect and the mind that actually thrives through the physical throb life prana of the person individual that is the outermost case that case just like our mobile case it is the fifth kosha the gross physical body labeling this body as himself his name and his status in his powers his skills capacities his standing in the society his successes his failures all these things are all attributed to as if the physical body has succeeded the physical body has attained certain things but actually who is behind all these things is the intellect which continues because of ignorance because of ignorance that exists in our causal body that continues our past registrations until the moment we went to sleep yesterday night until that moment whatever that that got registered pops up here in the intellect and goes one into the external world 3 4 via 3 4 and 5 mainly 5 labeling this as himself his capacities his successes his failures this goes the intellect goes so from from 2 to up to the level of 5 this takes control of up to the level of 5 all this are under the control of the intellect that is intellect is nothing but the past registrations this is how our lives have been going on now we will go to the next one this is the three shariras <coughs> sorry guruji can we ask you a question yeah certainly uh, sorry guruji i wanted to know um hmm. isn't intellect and mind the same like you know how to better understand the difference between intellect and mind yeah mind is like a hard disk where all the data is stored all data so intellect is where the mainly the the identified entity lives his existence is mainly based on the intellectual maneuvers and assisting him in that maneuvers is the mind full of karmic thoughts suppose the boss inside the cabin thinks that from today we will extend the working hours for another 15 minutes it is do you hear me now ma yes yes, yes. yeah so intellect is like the decision making authority the supreme boss in a human being all the assistants say if he has within his corporate office say 1000 uh, officials or uh, other staffs they work for him they are all immediate staffs for him and in the factory say 10 lakh employees are there this is how it is ma it is like the supreme boss the individual being himself is nothing but the emanations of his intellect all what are those emanations originations those things the feelings uh the identifications the 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 speed the speed with which he attaches to a sentiment and his neglection towards a particular feeling is want and is is not wanting certain things all qualities of feelings are all loaded into that software called intellect it is a software it is an invisible software bio software for which the sub unit which comes into help that main software intellect is the mind and what is this mind mind is nothing but data storing center data storing center of what is it about the individual no it is about the cosmos hmm. we are we are we are a dirt particle in the cosmos physically psychologically also which are not wanted at all which are not required 
deep sleep is complete but not, not the deep sleep we undergo with the body alive and psychologically all the instruments have, have gone off have vacated and one falls like an uprooted tree in into sleep not the kind of sleep it is it is the abode of pure awareness pure intelligence pure existence pure easeness so here comes two psychological main functions one is the intellect which is the deciding executing psychological center executing which decides and places the order yes from today onwards 15 minutes all the 10 lakh employees should work and there will be a half a day leave on saturday like that just like a, when when the when the when the uh, top uh, post top person of the country when he signs an order government order when he proclaims an order what happens to the whole citizens of the country they get the benefit from this month onwards 1000 rupees extra pension will be granted to everyone in this country if he says it has to be executed throughout the country by all the officials those officials those persons are all the main mm. those who execute these orders carry these orders that is why the mind always travels outside and inside it is like a courier messenger intellect always is stationed within actually it is the replica of the self pure atman atman principle the intellect alone has to get cleansed of all the impurities defilements and this just be cleanses that it does that purpose it works like that by and by by and by you get cleansed of all impurities what do you call impurity what have you understood about impurity the passing the thoughts past, the past registrations ah uh, past registrations see are we not are we not the accumulation of past registrations in the chatter that happens when we mm. sit down for a sitting mm. the the constant mm. inner chatter i think that's what uh, is happening constant this kind yeah it's not you can i can control it it's so involuntary it just happens it's just coming it's yeah. it's like a flood it's coming through yeah so we, we are inundated by that we don't know how to control who is the controller mm. how to switch it off the sounds within us outside tv we are able to control outside even human beings we are able to say one or the other advice according to our capacity from their angle even then that is not inwardly they are not controlled they will just go, go silent for a while and then again they will jump on us so all these things are yes. happening whereas whereas actually our nature is not this kind of uncontrollable involuntary rush of thoughts thinking our pure nature is just like deep sleep one one would doubt Oh, wow. what is this uh, if it is in the waking state if one in falls uh, uh, asleep like just like a deep sleep how will he function how will he think because we are so we have become so conditioned by the passing thoughts without thinking uh, we think we, we will cease to exist we will fall off there won't be any support that gives some sort of a, a food or a, the saturation satisfaction of living by thinking about it you would have got even money in your hand but not seeing the money you are happy thinking about it as if i have got this money i have got it which i have been looking for anticipating for so many years i now have it even that 
physically looking at the money you want dollars or rupees you want feel that but thinking about owning those thoughts as if you are owning the money within your mind this is the mistake that has been going on by not understanding what is intellect what is mind who actually lives here behind all these things for this very clarity to get this clarity one will how to go make a u turn within himself what is the way of u turn the same way how he has become a thinker identifying his thought his body has his thinker i got the money in that statement for i we always refer this name and form this person yeah i got it yes i have understood it even i have understood it at the psychological level is taking place as if in the body i have understood it no i am not at understood but do things happen like this really they are separate department this feeling of has to take place that feeling of make the real self authentic being to reveal itself what will be its language of revelation the highest self its language of revelation is through silence here the fake or the false will fall off thoughts will fall off chatter will drastically come down inwardly some other sort of confidence full confidence as if when you you have you have very great uh, hunger and you had a good food after that how you would have felt in the same way here if if you if that descends and if this falls off there will be an enormous energy bubbling within us some other kind of energy some other all together some other kind of energy it can be analogously we can say with the deep sleep state the bliss we get the satisfaction we get after a good sleep without mind shaka without thinking about anyone at all in this world first of all ourselves not worrying not expecting not trying to become someone or somebody gets some other talent improve nothing of this sort as it is the, the deep sleep state is devoid of whole manifestation including ourselves isn't it true we are permeated by its bliss we are soaked in it if this i comes along with all character roles surrounds it and with each and every character role so many registrations also pop up you will have to respond you will have to react mostly people react mechanically all reactions are mechanical they are already the word itself has that re hyphen action in the actor same act action is being again re actor re actor on becomes a reaction on never actually responds responds to this moment here no one lives in a way to respond this moment's actual existence for that you don't have to live outside of your body you will have to actually look within constantly by looking within first of all you won't find a separate i within you which a bigger or something like that it is not a kind of slow down or anything like that because there is none at all 
behind any thought behind any thinker behind any emotion inside the cabin there is no one at all called as intellect but amidst an issue while a character role plays something an important thing an issue the character role along with its prejudices all prejudices it goes on mechanically brings out through the mind all the past labelings no they will always talk like this you shouldn't give a ear to them shake it off or insult them outrightly all these suggestions one after the other everything has been going on these are all inner chatter isn't it but there is a center beneath all these things that is the that is the truth that has been found by the realized souls they have found out this these are all mechanical these are all like a software the moment you attach a uh, hard disk immediately it brings out all the files it lists out all the files how many tb files of data are loaded in it in the same way the moment you wake up as a thinker in the body thinker of the body thinker of a role thinker of an emotion feeler of an emotion in dual feelings i should get it no 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 it's a problematic one better let us defer it let us not go after it what our kind of suggestions what Our inner chatter, all these things are all bogus. They don't have any local stand at all. It comes from the mechanical hard disk. Every waking state, dream state, even deep sleep is a mechanical hard disk. But we what what we try to do through Saukya, we try to go near the door of darkness called deep sleep state, and slowly through our inner gaze. in the darkness we we try to peep into that darkness is it really dark who is now here without a thought who is now standing here without a passing sound inside my mind without any attributes to the gender or anything of any sort of the externals you just stay stay put just stand be there be the be the be the the real just be is will set in one it will set in one it depends on the patient endurance of all this nonsense you will be surrounded with all this ch- chatterers of past by and by they are all cleansed also they fall off also by and by the inner eye inner eye slowly opens that is what our aim okay now we will continue with the fifth technique this is the first slide of pancha koshas five sheets that covers psychologically plus physically and these are the three bodies they allot themselves to all those five koshas the first two kosha is categorized as the causal body deep sleep state causal body it's a body what is its cause why it has originated because we have ignored to investigate we have ignored to inquire what do we do now inner gaze itself sets the inquiry within us that inner inquirer is not mind that inner inquirer is not our intellect again we are setting a bare witness within us just a bare witness without a name and form that is what we saw in our last uh, fourth technique set a bare witness within us we have to go again and again optionally you can go for the past uh, uh, technique 
uh, earlier technique all this te- technique put together the inner surfing maneuvering should take you that you always stay within you inwardly anchored solidly and performing in the world you don't run away performing in the world because you are already at the origin point of all performance what is the origin point of all performance of the external world what is the origin point yourself you will not get shaken for anything and everything because you are already dealing with that fellow how it he has to be dealt the intellect or the mind you are always behind them and looking at them without your inner gaze they will make you fall they will make you tremble it should become your living style itself just be should become your inner style of living itself okay now these the, these three have apportioned themselves for the five koshas here two three four this is the subtle mental body subtle intellectual mental pranic body and fourth is nothing but the link between the gross physical body and the subtle body this fourth up to the fourth they migrate to a new body at the time of death this only lives this only carries this only leaves this body fifth one the fourth actually possesses the fourth possesses all the one two three it possesses the root ignorance out of which the past registrations are embedded in a biologically in the higher software called intellect then the mind and they have the gross link through prana prana is the life principle according to the gnanis realize sages here the cosmos itself is a manifestation of life macrocosmically as well as microcosmically both ways and this is only a namesake piece if you end up for yourself completely dedicating to stay within the life will be beautiful really beautiful you will be leading an essential life, life of essentials truth because it has to the truth has to descend the truth has to cleanse this intellectual and mental sheets okay even physical strength physically one will be very agile active healthy healthy because only with a healthy mind and inner center the body will become healthy it will have good strength because the the, the most positive strength will will descend to it to the physical body too okay now we will go to the last week this is another standard thing here what we say is we are nothing but the assembly of fragmented past registrations our real nature is like this before origination of these figures how this this was a dark night sky isn't it see here comes the dark night sky and suddenly with all the past registrations all these things pop up nothing of this sort suddenly when you see it happens in the just between deep sleep and one getting wake up which is actually waking up all past registrations like past registrations themselves cannot clean past registrations for that we need an external agent called the realized soul he comes into the picture and he says don't take it for granted yourself you are not this you which you have taken so far or something else you are actually formless limitless unliving unarising undisappearing unstuck non related unsupported separationless still silent blissful self of the deep sleep state deep sleep state is a state of an example we, we take it as an example not the reality of the self but it almost identifies last week we saw this fourth 
from this week onwards i will show what we had done last week what we have taken last week and what we are going to see newly a light orientation towards inner search inner inquiry i will take you further deep level after level i will be i will be taking throughout all the 12 classes now here you read this now you hear uh, read this uh, last week's class with a watcherless witness like gaze deployed 24 by 7 in just be ferocity of the flow of thoughts feelings drastically gets pacified yeah this is what you had been saying now for this week mm-hmm. when we bring back the witness like authentic being into our waking state life through staying in just be 24 by 7 we attain all prosperities in our lives what what are you able to understand on this what do you think on this what do you feel on this when we bring back the witness like authentic being he doesn't have a form he is not another part passing part it's not an image you have protected to watch within you like a like a security you are not posting a stationary inner security not like that you 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 become when thoughts are moving in you when the inner chatter is happening in you at that moment you are actually living in a formless manner in all each and every inner chatter and you start living with them by and by separately this being gets developed this witness like authentic see immediately before the origination of an image or an inner chat or inner thought and immediately after the end of it immediately after the end of it you can feel it went by it went past through you but you were not the mover along with it you didn't move that was the witness Correct. that happened to you you get this yes you yes you can notice you can you can notice this difference if you go very very meticulously within you the self inquiry in an unbiased manner there should not be any purnima at all there should not be any vaidegya at all mm. there should be none of their past that should not again start lingering within you while you watch okay mm. because the moment someone from your past comes and uh, engages his gaze what will happen comments will start pouring in correct they will they, uh, they will be intimidating your very gaze itself that is why there cannot be anyone beneath or behind that witness like person he is also out of the churning on entry and exit of a thought on exit on entry and exit of a feeling you can feel them directly it was not a thought it was it was also originated with it but it was not a thought it ended it exited like the thought but it is not a thought this kind of a concrete feeling will develop in you you get this yes it happens guruji um it's uh, sometimes mm. when i am doing at the sittings mm. uh, there'll be lots of thoughts coming through but then mm. i when i'm i mm. was trying to practice uh, the technique from last week and there were just a few mm. moments where i could mm. where there was nothing it was just a complete mm. blankness but mm. it felt very good but i it was not like there was any thoughts coming through my mind mm. mm-hmm. but that yeah, feeling yeah. was good yeah that feeling was, was good emptiness yeah. complete emptiness a uh, complete emptiness in relation to thinking in relation to chatter but Correct. Yeah, yeah it doesn't have a label or name at all mm. no this is uh, yeah 
to to communicate it to me you will have to say like this you cannot but say all these things okay mm. you will have to say all these things but it is non referential mm. with with the passage of our waking state thinking or thoughts or emotions so such a kind of a witness like authentic being this uh, this is what they in english uh, use the word is insight yes insightful you you are no more caught in the words that are written on the blackboard or whiteboard you are not carried away by the meanings those words carry with them what happens is you look beyond those words you look beyond those meanings you look elsewhere totally but that elsewhere realm is complete in itself because there is only one elsewhere place what is that elsewhere place not all these things okay not all these things at all not all these three uh, five koshas and three bodies this is where this inner uh, witness like authentic being is grown cultured cultured if you if you start doing some embroidery work first from tying a knot from that you go on doing isn't it using the needle and different kinds of uh, stand based support tools then the 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 sweater or some other the garment whatever you makes out of the embroidery it gains a form no the same way by and by by and by there will be someone beautifully insightful person okay he will grow yes. in now this is what is happening witness like authentic being into our waking state life through staying in just be what is the what is the means he employs with work or without work he will have to 24 by 7 the sittings also have to be done separate sittings at least minimum twice in a day and whenever you get freedom from your daily course you can allot those times fully like this 24 by 7 even while you are in your daily course that time also you need not stop having this energies always refer to that unbiased centerless nameless formless energies you think okay staying in just be 24 by 7 we attain all prosperities in our lives because nothing will be missed everything will be done in advance with regard to our material living okay from now on for the third month say september october whatever things are to be done that also will come by but you know when to attend them it's not again thinking about them okay everything will come up because everything you have whatever you had identified until now will again and again come to the surface and they alone will be marching in front of you when you set this inner gaze and this inner gaze also grows out of that only they they are going to uh, help you like tools okay it's like the, it is like this is this is how it is getting set okay so by this your material living will go in full steam because you you won't be a person uh, missing anything fulfilling everything in all aspects suppose the person who doesn't know faces a challenge of a regular life mundane life material life okay passing an exam preparing for an exam something or the other what happens is he will be left with some 10 sort of options 10 options or 20 options but whereas you know how it is welling up you will not know you will have 10000 your lack options before that facing that sir you get this yes powerfully okay yes karunji yeah now you do this okay you are bringing it to your waking state life how do you bring it 
it's the same thing you continue but here you are very particular in the originating point and the exiting point of a feeling of a thought and you are focusing on that okay just for 2 minutes yes, and then we will meet next time okay yeah. just for 2 minutes to start yes. doing it hmm? then then and then you can open your eyes and you can wind up okay uh, you can continue watching tamil yes. also i will keep the recording going on i will keep the zoom alive as it is in one shot huh? okay okay thank you we, 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 we will meet next week huh? next sure, sure thank you thank you thank you, you. Thank you. Uh, yeah